The Brotherhood of Chastity of San Michel are opening their doors to all Parisian citizens in need of aid. They provide food, so, beds, and medicine for so, those in need. So, seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. The Bastille was wonderful, a defining point in our nation's history. Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the offer. Offer may be a bit strong. Is that? Bloody Templar. What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell you done this time, pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? Greetings, citizen. My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kimar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de la Serre's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de la Serre. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse! It's a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lesser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. How are you, friend? That went about as well as I expected. Give it time. Mirabeau will talk them around. Do you really think we'll find him? After all this time. His luck can't last forever. Francois Germain believed Lafreniere was... Francois Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on Rue Saint-Antoine. Why? What the... Elise? What are you doing? Going! Wait for me! Slow down! Elise! 
What was that about? Oh no. Francois Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. Empty. Upstairs. That's where his workshop was. Let's go. It might not even be the same Germain. Tall, grey hair, <laughs> eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. Looks like no one's home. Please. Don't tell me. It's a trap. Hang on. Not a gone far now, can it's he? It's a trap. Oh. Oh. Well, well. The ladies kill them. That was bracing. Just like that time in Marseille. Bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could do that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh, no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau as soon as... I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Stay down! Do you see them? The windows, across the street. Watch out! This is Bishop. Do you copy? Good bloody work out there. You found him. Francois Thomas Germain. Grandmaster of the Templars and a sage to boot. By our reckoning, that's the second sage to rise to the Templars' highest rank. A troubling trend. Until we know more about this Germain, stick with Arnaud. He might have outlived this Grandmaster, and that could lead us to his body. Bishop out. Monsieur, 
Dieu, bonjour à vous. Eight, nine, damn. Something wrong, monsieur? These numbers don't add up. Someone's stolen nearly a case of wine. Stolen? I shall have to ask Monsieur Collignon about this. I'm sure he would never do something like that. That is, how would a gardener be able to get into the wine cellar with no one noticing? I'm sure he has his way. Elise? Monsieur Mirabeau? Elise? Elise? What is this? I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the Council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be the suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course, you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture. You saw no one else when you arrived. Just the butler. He let me in, but he never came upstairs. But he was here before you. Did you see any other servants? No. No one else. Poison. Let me see that. 
Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. A handkerchief. Ladies' handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects, then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kamar. Templar poison, Templar pin. It looks damning. Bravo. You figured it out. My cunning plan was to murder the only assassin who doesn't want to see me dead, then stand about waiting to be discovered. Not the only assassin. You're right, I'm sorry. But you know this wasn't my doing. I believe you. The Brotherhood, though. Then let's find the real killer before they get wind of this. Anna. Ah, Monsieur Dorian. What can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite for my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course. But I do know of an apothecary in Lamare who's willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. Well, you had access to Mirabeau. You've disagreed with him publicly on many occasions. 
and you plainly know how to kill a man. I also have gout so severe I cannot climb stairs some days, and my eyes grow dimmer with every passing week. To say nothing of the dozen or more brother assassins who can vouch for the fact that I've been here since dawn. Forgive me, I didn't mean to imply. No, you meant to accuse, and you did it rather poorly. Now kindly stop wasting the time you've been given, and find the true killer. Oui, monsieur. Shouldn't you be off hunting the real killer? Shouldn't you be off hunting the real killer? What cheer, Arno? pour comprendre qu'il faut s'en aller. Oh I think I can handle my lonely drug addiction. Oh, I wonder if you might help. Not again! Well played. Wait. Damn you, come back here! Slow down! Wait! I just have a few questions. Oh, please! I've never told 
anyone. I did just as you said. What are you talking about? <clears throat> you, you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man. Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw his face. Ah! He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison. I didn't ask questions. Ah! I keep only a small quantity in stock. He took that straight away, but he told me where to drop off the second dose. Second dose? Here. That's all I know. I swear it. Ah! Go on, then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? 